Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to use the sales analytics tool inside of Jungle Scout to give you the complete financial overview of your Amazon business. Now, while you can find sales information within Seller Central, unlike sales analytics, it's much harder to navigate and doesn't include all of your off Amazon expenses. So that's why this tool is really important because it allows you to better understand how your entire business is performing in order to scale and grow it. So I'm gonna be taking you through the three features within this tool to help organize and track all of your Amazon sales data. So let's get started. Feature number one, profit overview. To start, click on sales analytics and then profit overview. The first thing that you can do is select your date range. You've got a number of options here, such as today, yesterday, the last seven, 14 or 30 days, last month, as well as month to date and year to date. The other option that you have is to set a custom date range of your choosing. You would do that here in the start and the end date, which is reflected in this calendar below. The other great feature that we have is the ability to come down to compare to previous dates. And then below that, you can select previous period or previous year. If I select previous period and click apply, you see that we are now comparing the last 30 days to the previous 30 days. Below that, you see two options, company view or multi-product view. With the company view selected, you see all of your financial information on an overall company-wide level. Under multi-product view, you have the option of selecting a specific product for which to view data, and you also get this overview. Here you see each product or variation that you have, as well as some high-level information for your selected timeframe, such as total sales, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, net profit, gross margin, ROI, units shipped, promo units shipped, pending units, organic sales, PPC sales, PPC revenue as a percentage, returns, and refund rate. You also see the change up or down for each specific column if you're comparing this data to a previous period or year. Here, you're able to search for a specific product or ASIN, and then over here, you're able to adjust which columns of information that you see. You also have the option to download your data over here. So let's select one of our products. You now see that product up here at the top, as well as its marketplace, ASIN, and SKU. So coming down, we show you the overall unit sold which is broken down into units shipped, promo units sold, and pending units. Up here in the right-hand corner, we show you either the increase or decrease compared to the previous period that we are comparing to. Next, we show you your net margin as a percentage, and that's broken down into your net profit and revenue. Again, we show you the increase or decrease compared to the previous period. Finally, we also show you your ROI or return on investment. This is displayed as a percentage and is calculated by taking your net profit divided by your cost and then multiplied by 100. Again, we have the percentage increase or decrease, and this is broken down into gross profit and unit costs plus supplier shipping. Now, as we scroll down the page, you'll see tabs for information regarding net profit, revenue, cost, unit sold, and PPC. First, we've got a breakdown of your net profit. Profit is something to be very excited about, and we break it down into items like revenue, cost of goods sold, gross profit, and operating expenses. This makes it very easy to see exactly how your business is doing in terms of profitability. On the right-hand side, we give you a graph so that you can see your net profit over time in a visual way. You can hover over the graph to see the spend and sales on either a daily basis or toggle this to weekly to view it week by week. Next up is revenue. You'll see that it's broken down into items like the Amazon sales, refunds, reimbursements, promo rebates, or other revenue. On the right-hand side is again that graph. 
Next, we have a breakdown of your costs. This is an important one to look at because there are often a number of different costs associated with your business. You'll see that they're all itemized here. So again, you can see where you're spending money and then how your costs are trending over time. Ideally, you'd want your costs to be going down over time and not increasing, but this makes it very easy to see which way that is trending. Same again for units sold, broken down into promo units sold, units shipped, and pending units with a graph of how they're trending over time. Now finally, click on the PPC tab. Here you see the total spend for the time period selected, as well as the total sales as a result of your spend. Based off of these two numbers, you see your ACOS or advertising cost of sale. Then below that, you have your organic sales during this time period. This just makes it easy to see what percentage of your sales are coming organically versus those that are coming from paid advertising. You can hover over the graph to see the spend and sales on either a daily basis or toggle this to weekly to view it week by week. Keep in mind that these are sales that have taken place within seven days of a customer clicking on your ad, which means that there still may be some sales that get attributed to this spend. Then just note that with these broken lines at the end, that Amazon can take a couple of days to begin attributing sales to your PPC, and so it's worth waiting a little bit longer to check on these particular days. Now, as we scroll down the page, we are now going to break down your costs. The different areas of your costs are displayed down below. You've got your total costs over on the side here, and then next, for instance, we've got order fees, as you scroll over this, it breaks it down even further so that you can see in minute detail what makes up each of these cost areas. The same as you move across these other columns. So you see that even just on this page, we give you at a glance all the most important metrics for your business. Now we just viewed this information on a product level, but remember that you can also do this on a broader company-wide level. So to do that, Come back up to the top, we'll click back, and then switch this to company view. Next up is feature number two, profit and loss statements. Now let's click on the P&L statement. The profit and loss statement gives you a really nice overview of your business within the time frame that you've selected. So the main categories are revenue, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, and then your net profit and net margin with each of these being broken down even further. Now on to feature number three, other transactions. Finally, click on other transactions. As I mentioned earlier, sales analytics also takes into consideration your business expenses off of Amazon. This could include things like software subscriptions, virtual assistants, product photography, accountant, or any number of things. This is the section here where you wanna add in those details. Remember, Jungle Scout automatically pulls in all the revenue and costs associated with your Seller Central account, but what we don't know are any other costs outside of that. This is where you enter them in. You'll first select a category to make it easier to organize your expenses for accounting purposes. Then under transaction level, select whether this is a company-wide expense or an expense that's very specific to one of your products. Add in a date, a description, the amount, and the frequency. Click on the green tick here to add this expense. Any expenses here will be calculated into your overall profitability. That's the really great thing about using our sales analytics tool. It's not only taking into consideration your Amazon expenses and revenue, but also every other cost that contributes to your business so that you get a very holistic view of how your business is performing. In addition, you can download all of these entries up here. And then if you have a lot of entries, you can also upload all of them up here instead of adding them one by one. The best practice would be to make sure that the CSV file that you upload is in the same format as the one that you download. Now, the other area of this section is FBA inbound shipping. This breaks down what's called a reshipping cost. This is where you might get your shipment sent into the US, perhaps to your house or perhaps to a freight forwarder, 
but then for the final leg of the journey, you elect to use Amazon's discounted freight services to get at that final leg into the Amazon warehouse. When that occurs, you actually pay Amazon for that final part of shipping, and those are the costs that are displayed here. And that's how you use the sales analytics tool. I hope this tutorial has helped you get started using it so that you can better understand how your entire business is performing on Amazon. Now go ahead and try this out for yourself by clicking the link down in the description to sign up for Jungle Scout. Did you know that Jungle Scout offers way more tools than just sales analytics? And all the tutorials are located right here in this playlist. Make sure that you check out the next video on how to use Jungle Scout tools.